Hey guys, it's Heather the Crochet Witch. Welcome back to my update on Whip Weekend. Um, this is the rectangle virus blanket that I have been working on. Um, it is finished. We got it done, guys. Uh, I took some advice. I did add, basically I used up the yarn by also following the advice of adding a row of repeats around the edge instead of three because as you can see like after the middle oh no we're focusing on my finger after the middle there's three rows of the black repeat three rows of the color three rows of the black and then I just did one row of the color repeat at the end for like a border and like I said at the same time I used up my yarn the black yarn is just I love this yarn uh, in the color black oh no it's not I love this yarn it's red heart with love in the color black um, this gorgeous like self striping color that is like a marl of color and black together is that is I love this yarn colors in the colorway firecracker uh, there's a little bit of a closer detail on it so we're on location because we are in um, my husband's guitar room <laughs> there's some of his guitars uh, anywho we'll rejoin in my yarn room for the second part of this video but and this is pretty sizable guys like um, I had a progress keeper on, but right about here is where I picked this project up as a sleeping whip. And um, it's, I had had this for years, just not finishing it. So from right about here and on, I just, that's all I had to do to finish it. All the rest was done, you guys. Um, this is a discontinued color in the I Love This yarn, the Firecracker, and literally this is all that's left. Um, like I want to say that this is six skeins of it. It might only be four because I didn't keep the beginning set of labels. I have two labels left and I know that the outside of this is two and a half balls. But, so maybe it is... Four. I don't know you guys maybe it's five <laughs> I don't know because I didn't think to keep track then but this is a pretty sizable blanket too because this is um an entire futon couch that's in my husband's guitar room I almost said yarn room <laughs> um, but yeah so I mean and it goes all the way like I had to drape it over the back it goes all the way back there down the futon and then down onto the floor. So it's definitely a snuggable blanket and it will be one of the additions to my annual blanket extravaganza for 2021 when I do that next year. Also, the benefit of doing these whip weekends, I reclaimed a hook because um, I do have a full set of my favorite bamboo handled Susan Bates hooks. These are the hooks that I prefer to use for everything. Um, and this was an eye hook. Didn't really focus on it, I guess. And there we go. 5.5 eye hook. Um, I had two of these. One of them I, I have. And then this one I reclaimed from sitting with my project. So pretty happy Heather right now. Um, anywho, I will meet you guys back in my craft room and show you the next project that we're gonna pick up and try to finish a blast from the past of mine. <laughs> Catch you in a few, guys. Hey guys, welcome back to the second part of Whip Weekend number five. Um, so you have already watched the beginning, so you know that I finished with my virus blanket, the rectangle virus blanket. Yay, one whip down. <laughs> um, I gifted that to my husband already, and he liked it. Um, he had it folded up on the futon that it was on when I was videoing it to show you guys. And uh, 
actually our dog, the older dog, Lindy, she claimed it and decided she needed to lay on that one, like just on that blanket for the morning. So it was a big hit. <laughs> um, so I picked out my second whip, which I bet you guys are shocked to know that it's a blanket. I'm waiting for the shock. <laughs> um, so what I decided to do was the, I hope I get the name of this right. It's a crochet crowd squares blanket that Mikey did a year or two ago, maybe, maybe longer. Um, I do remember going to pick out the yarn for this cause I wanted like specific colors at the time. Um, or I wanted a specific yarn, which I'll get into in a minute. And so David and I were picking out the colors. Um, but it is the, it was a crochet along if I didn't say that. Um, it was the, the flora Afghan squares, I believe. Um, and I had, okay. So we're getting out the old trusty, big, fluffy, fuzzy. This is like my blanket project bag now. Cause this is what I had just housed my, um, previous virus blanket in. And now it has the three colors which are hard to pull out. So I'm going to show you a side view so they don't like fall on themselves. But these are um, three different Caron uh, one pounders. This is denim. This one, I did not come prepared with the name. Medium, medium gray mix is the name of it, I guess what it says on the thing um and then this one I don't have the label for this is I had mentioned before that Myers has a few like naked bundles this was one of them so there's no label on this one but I think that one is just lilac I might be wrong I'll have to check because um I'm about to be done with that one before I finish this blanket and I have a second one like out in my collection bin of project stuff <laughs> So I'll check and next time I'll, I'll have that, uh, name for you guys, but I'm pretty sure it's lilac. So I can't remember. I want to say there's like 12 square, like different squares and you have to have like three of some squares to, to follow Mikey's specifics for the blanket. You have to have like three of some squares, two of another square. So I had gotten three of this one done, which I, I want to say this is the chrysanthemum chrysanthemum one but I'm not sure and I noticed that there's a bigger hole than I would like right here so actually before I finish this blanket I'm gonna take a string of the orchid and tie it in and tie this better because when I did it I obviously didn't care about it but I don't like the hole being that big so I'm gonna close it up but I had gotten they're all three the same but I'd gotten one two and three of this one done and then you had to do two of this one, which is the flower floral clock or something. I'll try to remember to put a playlist link for this particular, like, I just basically looked up the floral Afghan and then all the different videos popped up and I'm just picking and choosing from those to, until I get them all done. But because I'm going to do a continuous join. I'm not going to do Mikey's join and I'll probably put my own border on it too. I haven't looked to see what border he put on it cuz I never got that far in, but <laughs> I like borders of my own, so I'll probably wing it. But anyway, there's the second one. And then that's all I had done. So I started the next block, which is the hibiscus block. So I did this one and it's completed. And thankfully still tension wise matches up with all the rest of them. And then since I had to do three of those and I basically did one to make sure a, that I could do it, B that I liked it. I did the next two just in like I did the middles and then I've done the blue part, the denim part of this one. So then I have to denim this one and add the gray and the borders in, and these will be done. And then I'll be Moving on to the next part of it, um, I'll pick the next block and make however many he said. Um, I imagine I will be joining it all in the gray color since all of the blocks are bordered in that color. Um, I don't see this one taking as long 
I don't know, maybe as the virus one. Um, just because with the virus one, I think I had done a couple of tutorials or something in the middle of it. So I put it off, like even though I was doing it on the whip weekends with you guys, I put it off for a little bit here and there and didn't get it done as fast as I should have. Um, but I'm pretty motivated to get these squares done. That's how I started out before though, right? And then you just kind of like excitedly move on to something else and it gets put in the wayside or maybe you come up to a part that you don't particularly like or, you know, there's like an infinite number of things that could happen while you put this down and don't come back to it. I think I had just found a new exciting thing to move on to. Plus at the time that I started these, I did not know about the continuous join. I'd never done it at the time. And I know I keep like pushing this, but really this was like a total game changer for me with uh, piece together stuff like that. So um, I haven't yet tried to join Hexies with a continuous join, but I'm going to try because I don't not want to do that ever again. <laughs> I say that all the time, but it's like my favorite thing in the whole world, to be honest. <laughs> um, anywho, yeah, so I'm going to do that. I might have to stop back by Meyer for another gray. If I end up doing the join in the border in that, I may not have quite enough. We'll have to see because Karen one pounders go quite a ways. So we'll see how that goes. Plus the center of everything so far is pretty much the lilac based ones, I think. So, yeah, it is. So the gray might go a little further. I don't know, but I'm doing this pretty quick. So maybe by next weekend, instead of doing it every other weekend, if I have a lot more progress, I'll show you guys next weekend. But, uh, other than that, yeah, definitely let me know what projects that you're working on. Have you guys done the Flora Afghan before? Um, if so, if you showed if you showed off anywhere, make sure to tag me in it, like on Instagram or anything, because I love seeing the different projects like worked up different ways than the way I've done mine. Um, and what else are you guys working on? If not, like pr you probably not. What are the chances that somebody's working on the floor Afghan? So what else are you guys working on? <laughs> but uh, yeah, so that's. All I got for this whip weekend. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you like the channel, if you like this video, please make sure to subscribe down below and hit the bell for notifications. Uh, I do upload multiple times a week. I have a podcast that I do. Um, I've done some knitting chat now. I do yarn reviews. I do tutorials. We go yarn shopping. Um, I have a lion brand order on the way. <laughs> Um, other than that, I hope you guys had a happy Valentine's Day. Um, it's almost over. I got all the running out of the way so I could stay home and snuggle in while it's snowing and blowing here in my corner of Michigan again. And yeah, I was getting some work done on this blanket. Uh, also, if I didn't mention that I reclaimed a hook last time, I will also be reclaiming this hook. See, most of my Susan Bates hooks are in in other projects. That's why I can't find any of my favorite hooks. <laughs> but um, anyway, so uh, I will talk to you guys later. I love you. Thanks for all the comments and the subscribing and the liking and just thanks for being around and joining me and showing me what you're working on. And I will talk to you soon. Bye guys. I love you.